Hello. Today we're just doing a little live on some one-on-one -one help. So if you have anything you're struggling with, um, chime in on the comments and we'll see if we can trouble solve. Um, if the live doesn't get a lot of people, because I know it's kind of an odd time for everyone uh, with everyone's schedules, we might just make another post um, and have just some people comment um, what their issues are going on. Um, okay, I saw Jessica just pop on. Um, so um, I'm going to ask you some questions, so if you don't mind commenting. Um, the dog you just adopted, how old is he? Lila already helped you. <laughs> I'm just waiting for people to put their comics in um, with what they're dealing with. Okay, so his age might definitely contribute to why he gets so active and stuff like that. Let me just pop up your questions again, just so I don't look like an idiot. <laughs> oh gosh, is it gonna let me? Uh, will you repeat your, because of, sorry, I have these two dogs playing with me, so they're a little annoying. If you don't mind uh, repeating what your questions were in the comments so I can see them again, it won't let me go back to it. I just remember one thing you said was, um, he's better about doing the loose loose walking alone but whenever he has his sister with him he gets a little worse while we're waiting for a comment i'm gonna let you guys watch these too have fun he's my dog this is uh Dog, he's gonna go. He needs to go to a foster home tomorrow. But I brought my dog up to um, play with him. Obviously, they are good friends. So Miranda, or Sarah, if you guys have any questions, just pop on. We're just watching the dogs play until I get some questions. Are you tired? <laughs> Normally when you first do dog intros, you really shouldn't have toys out unless you're prepared to break up a fight, but we already did them without them, and then uh, he looked, Arthur doesn't guard them, but he, I didn't, I didn't know, um, and so we gradually brought him out, and there, he's good about him. Okay, so let me read Lord's question. Um, okay. So I would definitely suggest working with Rocky alone for a while until he like fully gets it. He's still in such like a puppy stage. I always call it like the terrible twos until they like almost until they turn a year and a half. They're just wild. Um, so like really trying to get through that stage until they start calming down a little bit. So I would definitely you want to do him alone first until he really gets it down and then start walking him with her um i'm not sure if you saw so we did the loose loose walking video but there's also the working walk that's where you start it's a uh, add-on from the uh, loose loose the loose loose is just getting them to learn the pressure release that when they pull the, you put pressure back so they don't pull the working walk is where you're starting to get them in a uh, heel position right next to your side um so that's, you basically shorten them out of the length of leash that they have to be able to uh, walk. Um, and then they start learning to have to be by your side. So um, that is definitely going to help with him starting to get reacted towards her. But I would get get it to where he's got it down before you start having her back out. There's also a good, uh, Kate did a video on um, eye contact. That's a really good one that you want because it helps um, with the dog learn to trust you and to focus on you the entire time and not whatever other um, distractions are going on. Um, so I would work on those two and get him down with that and then slowly start um, incorporating her back with it. Um, and some of this is just his age. He's just, it's just part of, it's, it's like a three year, three year old, they're turned eight months and they're four year old, you know, and then by the time they're a year, they're like 15 and they're, you know, trying to test, test you. So it's some of it, you just have to have patience and work through. Um, but, you know, starting early is the best way to do it because then it's much easier when they're already kind of set in their ways when they're older. <sighs> okay. All right, let me think what else. Um, and then as far as, like, the jealousy and stuff, too, that's um, some of it. That's with age. Um, you know, try and give the dogs equal attention. Um, but if one dog is, like, starting trouble, like, let's say you're both, they're both on the couch and one of the dogs is starting something, kick them off the couch. Like, 
same thing with beds or anything like that. If one of them's like misbehaving, um, take away whatever a positive, like take away the rewards that they get. Like look at the beds and couches and all that stuff as a, as a reward. If they're like trying to overpower the other dog or something, take that away. If it's, they're just like, if it's like these two dogs and like, let's say Arthur started kind of picking on him, then Arthur would get kicked out of the room with me because being in the same room with me is a reward. Okay. Let's see. Any other questions? We might um, make a post and have people put questions at the bottom, too, if that helps. Just because it's hard to get everybody on the live all at the same time. And now you just get to watch a little uh, babies play. Let's see who else. Um. Okay. I, I think there's a delay in my comments. So I'll just kind of hang out for another minute or so and see if anyone else pops on. If not, we'll make another post um, with people to comment on. And then, Jessica, if you also want, you can also take like have someone record you guys working on stuff um, and then post it, and then we can give comments on how to help and stuff. And that goes with anyone else. Anything you're struggling with, if you get a video of it, we're more than happy to give some comments and feedback. He's for adoption, not him. That's my, my boo. He is, though. So I don't see any other comments, so I'm going to probably jump off. Um, I'll make a post and um, let anyone put any comments that they want. Lila actually messaged me privately and was talking about um, her dog, Baloo, and some stuff. But um, if anyone else has any problems or questions they want to know about, um, just let me know, and we're more than happy to help. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, now I don't know if I should get off because I see KD's on here now. <laughs> I feel like I should bring Katie on here. Oh, here we go. What's for dogs who can't calm themselves? Um, okay, Rachel, how old is the dog? And then, like, do you know what breed it is? I think my, like, my, my talk is delayed with the comments. So it might take a minute for me to respond to your comments. It's just, there's a delay. Um, so, like, I'm just going to wait for Rachel to let me know um, the age and the breed of her dog. Hi, Jill. Jill's on. Jill, this is the dog I'm trying to get you to foster. <laughs> um, okay, Brando is one. Brando. Oh, okay, I remember Brando. Wait, didn't he get adopted? You were the foster, right? Brando is... He was kind of like a border collie mix, I think. He was pretty wild at the shelter. Some of that, again, is just a, it's partly his age and I think whatever breed he has. Like, he's got to have some, some sort of working dog in him. Um, dogs that were like, oh, okay, you just watched him. Uh, some dogs that, like, were made to be working dogs. Like, when we, like, like, if you look at cattle dogs and stuff, they were made to work, like, 16 hours a day. And then we slowly made them house dogs. And that can make some of them go crazy. So I would, I, he, Brando looks like he has some, like, border collie or something in him. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's something of that in him that he just isn't getting enough stimulation. And I don't know that anyone could have as him as a house pet. That's just, you'd have to put him out on a farm and let him work. Some of that was with age. So hopefully as he gets older, he'll get better. But sometimes when, like, the dogs don't calm themselves down, um, what I'll do is, like, if you keep a leash on them. Um, here, let me get him. Come here. What you might want to do is, like, you might want to tether them to you on the couch and just kind of helps make them settle. Come here. I know. You're like, what are you doing to me? Even, like, sometimes just put your foot on the leash until they start wearing themselves out and just kind of make them sit down and relax. Um, if, like, they start biting at you or anything because they're bored, uh, you could use, like, I don't have the water bottle me, but, like, a little water bottle, like, just to kind of spray them with or something just so they don't do that. But just so they start learning that they have to lay down when they're by you. Um, and that being by you isn't just necessarily like playtime, that they do have to relax. Um, some dogs you have to put in a crate and give them, like, a bone or a toy or something to let them calm down. But as he gets older, it'll definitely get easier. Um, that's, like, the best thing. Okay, and I saw Sarah. <sighs> Miss Sarah. Okay, she's getting older and has mild strangers. She's getting worse and charging people. She does know, too. 
Um, I would take her to the vet, make sure there's nothing else going on for Sarah O'Donnell. Um, since she is getting older and just make sure there's, there's not some underlying medical condition and like she's not feeling like oh, the best because if she's not feel if she's getting older and she's not feeling as good, so, so her behavior issues might get worse. Um, and see if any of that has to play with it. Um, make sure her vision's okay. But that would be like the first thing I would roll out is any medical. And then if it's not medical and all that looks good, then see if like, is she getting less socialization because of the quarantine? Like, is she not seeing as many people now? And like, maybe she's lost some of her socialization and how to interact with people coming in the house. Um, that could play into it. Um, you might have to like, and some dogs, some dogs just change over time, you know, I, like with Lefty, I know I've told you guys that it was like, once we got a separation anxiety down, it was like some of his other issues got worse. Um, so sometimes just time, you resolve one issue and then another one seems to pop up because the other one isn't as prevalent. Um, so that could be what's going on. So then you might just have to start working on um, having her start meeting new people. And a lot of it's about desensitization. Um, so you might have to get her muzzle trained and start working with having um, people come over. And the best way that I like to have dogs with stranger danger meet people is like have the person sitting down. I wouldn't have them like on the floor um, just because that's such an easy way to get bit. And standing is very like, that can be intimidating to the dog. Um, just if you think about like, let's say that's a person that's just intimidating when you're that high. So having them um, sitting down is good and like just kind of ignoring the dog and have that dog on a muzzle and get to where if like the dog can lay down like this, that's great just to where they calm down. Um, and then eventually, like, you don't necessarily have to have them give treats. You can throw treats, but they don't have to get to where they're, like, totally, like, best friends. Just as long as they can be in a room with another person and not lose their mind, that's, like, the goal. And then eventually you can go to the next goal and next goal, but that's, like, the first thing that you want to work with. Okay, I see what Katie just said. Katie's a great foster for Bobo. I like how Jill never responded when I said he, she should foster him. <laughs> she disappeared. Okay, does anyone else have any questions besides watching these cute dogs? Oh, Emma doesn't have a foster right now. Do you want him? <laughs> he needs to go to a foster home tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to wait a minute and see if anyone else has any questions. Allison, if you guys didn't just uh, adopt uh, Chad or Brad, I can't remember his name. He'd be good because he's good with him. Okay. Ooh, Katie's got a question. Okay. I feel like this is so slow on my phone. I don't know if it's a Wi-Fi or what. Bobo's been calmer with dogs. It could be his age. But so Bowie, he used to go to doggy daycare. He would be a hot mess there and try and fight every single time. But he like would be okay. Like he would like play with him instantly. Like I always kind of feel like Bowie could potentially live with a dog. It just have to be the right dog. And it'd have to be a dog that would put up with like if he has issues. Because um, he lived with dogs when he was young. I just think he doesn't know how to handle when he gets overly stressed. Um, I will do that anytime for you, Katie. We can just muzzle, I mean, just like how we do before, we muzzle him and see how he does. One thing, though, is some dogs like that do have dog aggression. You can get them trained to be so good on leash around another dog, but the moment you let them get too close, they go revert. I don't know that that's Bowie. Like, Bowie, I've never said, is like, uh, like 100, 100%, like never no dogs. I would say maybe 95%. Like, if I, if I, like, like, if I adopted Bowie, I probably would potentially try and get him good with my pack because I feel like I could um he's not like a hopeless cause so okay that Katie we need to find a dog that we can work with him and see if we can get him better so much of though it's like this is why like if you ever go out of town again you should let me know and I'll stay at your house and I'll bring I'll bring one of my dogs over or something and we can see if we can get him good in the house because being good here is different than being good in the house like who was it um I can't remember. There was a dog that we had that was great in play groups, but when she was in the house, she just could not live with other dogs. Arthur, do not bite his heels. Arthur! 
Arthur's still a puppy and is learning the appropriate play. And my dogs don't correct him when he does it. Uh, no, it wasn't Galaxy. Um, I can't remember. That's okay if you don't have doors. You can figure it out. You have the front door. I have broken up a, do a dog fight with the front door before. and One of the dogs was on the outside and I was on the inside. So that was something fun. Um, so we need to figure out which dog we can use. But yeah, we could do it here for a while. And then maybe we could go go on. But yeah, I've... Because even oh, um, um, O'Neill said he didn't think... Uh, boy was 100% no dogs who would have to be the right dog to live with and the only thing with that with adopters is we don't know their dogs so they might say oh yeah he's fine but we would have to like be really really get to know their dogs to understand um if it could work and it would probably just be having like me come along and kind of watch how their dog reacts and stuff and see if we think it could work oh you think would he be okay with um galaxy i actually yes i think he would galaxy is very playful i bet they probably would play And then Asia, no, it was further back than that. Asia, I don't know fully that she couldn't live with dogs. I think when she was in her last foster, she wasn't meeting them properly, and that's why she was acting a hot mess. This dog is so good. Arthur's a little butthead, even though he's... <laughs> uh, yeah, if Barry Kay was fine with having us bring a galaxy, that'd be awesome. Oh, Arthur. Okay. See, he just corrected Arthur because Arthur was not picking up on that. So, like, that's good. You want him to be able to communicate with Arthur and tell him, hey, I don't like that. Now, if Arthur kept going back at him, I would actually correct Arthur um, because he was just telling him he didn't like it. He wasn't trying to do anything more. If he kept going and, like, went after him, then that's when you need to intervene. But Arthur was being a jerk and not picking up on it. So I, Arthur just learned a good lesson with him. And now he's, hopefully we'll give him a little bit more space. Good job, buddy. He's like, I just, don't, I just, that was too much. Maybe I should start going more, do more lives when I'm doing play groups. Even though it's, it's, it's like a very easy one. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. I just said that and I just saw Katie's comment. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Um, Normally, when we have, we're at the shelter, we have so many dogs I can do, and we can work on it. Right now, I mean, he's only he's at the shelter just because he hasn't got his rabies shot. So I came up here to take check on him, and I just brought Arthur up here to play with him. Um, oh, there's Anna who adopted Wyatt. Um, yes, I would love to do that more, but right now it's hard. Okay, does anyone else have any other uh, questions or anything? Arthur just got a squeaky toy that I'm going to take from him so he doesn't choke on it. <laughs> Any more questions? I'm going to wait. wait just a minute because I know there's a delay in the comments. He is, but I don't know if I'd put him with kids yet. When he was at Animal Control... They were saying he was being really aggressive, but he hasn't had any issues with us. So I don't know if, like, he wasn't getting out of his kennel at all and he was just super stressed. So I probably wouldn't put him with kids just to be safe until we see how he is in, with a, uh, in a house. But, he, I mean, he's doing great with dogs. I don't know about cats, um, but I would like to get him a house with some adults. And, if, and then if he's looking good, then I would like to t test him with kids and stuff or teenagers. You can take Arthur. <laughs> My bad dog. He, When we brought him up here, he instantly peed and pooped in here like a jerk. And he has not had a single accident in here. Yeah, you're a brat. Okay, any other questions? Any training questions? Not saying anything. Okay, so I think I'm going to jump off. Um, I am going to make another post just in case anyone missed this because I don't know, you know, this is kind of dinner time for some people. Um, you can post your questions in there and then we can try and troubleshoot, maybe even uh, go uh, do FaceTime personally um, and see if we can work on it. So thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later.